this is more than a fling. So oh, it's Wednesday. Excuse the fact that my strength is horrible and I'm quiet. It's early in the morning. So this week's challenge is to talk about how um, as many cast members as you can and your reaction to them being cast, and then like your reaction now. So I'm gonna jump straight into it because I know I'm gonna ramble. Okay, so my first reaction when Jennifer was cast as Katniss, um, I was mixed because I was a big supporter of the dream team, but Kai's got no time to parish with Katniss and Peter. And I was really mixed because, like, if this is going to be the first season, I was like, she's blonde and she's curvy. I was one of the people, but then I looked at as soon as I thought she's blonde, I was like, they can dye her hair. I was one of those people who were like, she's blonde, she can't be Katniss. Uh, I think the main issue I actually had when she was first cast, this is my first reaction, this was back in March. So I was kind of like, oh, she's curvy, and she's quite tall, so I was like, oh. But then, like, that was just my first reaction, and like, now, if you follow me on Tumblr, you'll know that I absolutely love Jennifer Lawrence, I think she's amazing, and she's the best Katniss we could have asked for, and she is my spirit animal. Seriously, if anyone's watching this and you still have doubts about Jennifer, you can go look at some stills, go watch some interviews, and then come back and tell me. As far as Josh and Liam being cast as Peter and Gail, when they were first cast, I wasn't happy. We'll start off with Liam as Gail first. Gail is not one of my favourite characters of all time, definitely not. Um, so I'm not as fussed about him, but my first reaction was I didn't like it. I was annoyed because that's not how I imagined Gail. I can't describe the way I imagine Gail, really, but I guess it's more, if you watch Life of Dreams parody, it's closer to that. Not exactly like that, but closer to that. I, I mean, like, seeing the pictures of Liam now, like, he's never gonna be able to live up to my expectations because he just doesn't look like that. But, like, I think he does look a l much better than I originally thought he would. Josh as Peter. My first reaction was I was extremely annoyed because I was a huge supporter of Hunter Parish. I still love Hunter Parish to death. He is, like, my husband. And... I was really annoyed at first with Josh because I thought, the, the first thing I thought was he's quite little. And I was like, well, Jennifer's quite tall. And I was like, how is that going to work? And then I realised they're about the same height, so that's okay. Um, I think when I first saw him, I was like, he has black hair. I was like, how are they going to make the blonde look good? Because it's like, ugh. Keep in mind, this is my initial reaction to the casting. And um, I was kind of like, the only movie I'd ever seen him in was The Vampire's Assistant, Stoke the Freak. And he's been evil at that, and I was like, oh, I can't imagine you playing my favourite good to the bone character when you play someone evil. My reaction now? Pretty much love Josh and everything he is, and I think he looks awesome as Peter, and I'm just really excited, because I think him and Jennifer are like, the, they're like the best Katniss and Peter we could ask for right now. Like, people say she still looks too old, and I'm just kind of like, shut up. She looks fine, she looks great, and to be fair, like, Katniss is not going to look like every 60-year-old girl you see on the streets nowadays. She's been through hell and back, like, <laughs> I get really annoyed with haters. As far as Josh's hair goes, like, I saw someone complaining about it today on the track tag, and I was like, what? He has sandy blonde hair. It's blonde. I mean, like, I would rather, because he, he has black hair, naturally. So I expect it was really hard getting it to that blonde. And I don't want to damage his hair, because he's got hair like that for the next four years or whatever. So I'm fine with his hair. I think it looks great. The person probably also didn't realise the fact that he was in mud at the time. Moving on to the tributes, when Rue was cast, that was the first casting that initially I was really happy with, because I think she's adorable, and she looks exactly like how I imagined Rue. And I was just like, so happy. And it's going to be heartbreaking to watch her die. I'm gonna cry a lot. To be fair, most of the tributes casting I was happy with. Like, I don't know. I didn't expect Kato to be such a pretty boy. I always imagined him really big and brutish. But I'm not going into the whole Alexander Ludwig thing after what's happened recently. I think Chloe is really gonna be good. The girl from the orphan, so I think she's gonna be good. But yeah, I, I was initially happy with the tributes, and I'm still happy with the tributes now. I think they're all great. They always be about food, which I think is really ironic. I really love the cast. The casting of Prim, I was cool with. I, it's just not exactly how I imagined Prim. Like when I saw the first picture, of her, I was like, I always imagined Prim more like Elle Fanning, um, or like a little Dakota Fanning, or something like that. Um, but I think she'll be good because when I saw her in costume. I was like, wow, you actually do kind of look like Prim now. So my first reaction to Prim was like, 
to make this like ugh. I was in that fuss about her eyebrows. I know a lot of people said that they found them really distracting, but I didn't mind them. I was kind of like, they didn't shave. They didn't really shave in District 12, so it doesn't really matter if she's having a unibrow. If you stop to use a kid when she's 11 or 12. Uh, I, I'm not fussed about it. I, I like Prince Puss. I think she's adorable. I'm going to cry when she dies too. I thought um, Mrs. Everdeen was pretty spot on, although we never, we never see how much I like her character that much. Um, yeah, I think she looks good. She looks like Prim's mother, that's for sure. She looks like she's come from the market town, so that's great. Hamish, um, Woody Harrelson is Hamish. I was mixed when I heard. When I heard the news, I was kind of like, I don't know who you are, so I can't really judge. Um, but I think it'll be great. Um, all the extras have been tweeting about him saying he's amazing. Um, I really can't wait to see him, his dynamic with Josh and Jen. I just think that's going to be so cool to work with. That's one of my favourite dynamics in the book. Hamish, Katniss and Peter. I love all the scenes, including those three. So I'm really excited. I think Woody's going to be great. Lenny Kravitz, a sinner. I never imagined Sinner to be black. I know they never said anything about it in the book. They didn't say whether he was white, but I just imagined him to be white. I don't know why. I just imagined him to be kind of tall, with dark hair, white, gold eyeliner. I don't know. Um, when he was cast, I was kind of like, um, okay. I know a lot of people have said, like, oh, how could he play Sinner? He's a total bad ass kind of guy. But I'm sure they, they casted him reason um he was in that movie precious and not seen it i don't know what his role was but i know that it's quite a dark movie so i mean i'm 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 still on the line with lenny a sinner but i'm gonna put faith in the fact that they've casted an, an awesome cast so far so he must be good donald sutherland is president so i'm gonna be so scared <laughs> i'm just gonna be so like <laughs> evil bleh. He looks out, I imagine, so I have to say. I was happy with his casting when he was cast, and I'm happy now because apparently he's like one of the greatest actors like of our age, so I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. Sam, Stanley Tucci, I can't pronounce his last name, his, him, <laughs> Caesar Sycamo. I always imagine Caesar to be old, <laughs> like really old, with like bright blue hair. I don't know how I imagined him. It was a very strange imagination. But he's not how I imagined the season. Although I'm excited to see how he does because I've learned that really that's just because he doesn't play up to my imaginations because it means he's not going to be good. I can't think of anyone else in the cast right now. I really can't. Oh, um, Elizabeth Banks and Effie. Yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I was unsure at first because I didn't really know who she was or like I'd never seen her in anything or probably have but I don't know her. And um, so the one that won me over was that she tweeted, um, this is you guys should know this. Like, in costume as Effie, and someone asked me if this is my, but if this is a fake, but no, it's all me, back it up, back, that put me over, like, okay, you're Effie. Gary Ross is the director, um, I actually, I did, I know this the other day, he directed Two Biscuit, and that was one of my favourite movies as a kid, so, I'm excited, I think he'll be good, I, I don't know, I, I don't, never really watched any of his works, I probably should, but, I haven't, so, I think he'll be good. I think, yeah, I've only seen a picture of him on set. That was with Josh and Jen, you know, with Josh the floor. And yeah, but I think he looks like he's good. At, he's a good director. He gets involved in everything. And I mean, Suzanne Collins helped write the script, and she's been on set, so I have faith in it all. If she's been on set, then she can't. Write, and she's written some of the script, and she's like, had, she's like looked over the script. She can't change much. She won't have changed like the storyline. She might change a few things, like Madge. I was bit annoyed at that. I was annoyed about the match thing, but I'll get over it. Also excited to see Buttercup. Okay, that's all of the things, all of the people I can think of. I just wanted to say a fact about Jennifer just now. I know I, I talked about her a long time ago, but I just want to say a fact now. People who are complaining, like, she's a, we have an Academy Award nominated actress. How much more do you want? It's amazing. I think it's great. We've got an Oscar nominated actress. How much better? She's 20. She's 20 and she's been Oscar nominated. I'm, I'm so insanely happy about this. Okay, this video is 10 minutes long. I told you I'd be ranting. And I'm going to stop it now. Also, yeah, 
if I'm catching flowers, I'll be like a week after I turn 18. Also, okay, see you guys later. Bye.